Hey there everybody, Aaron here, and welcome to a new series, one I've really wanted to, uh, to do. Uh, and I finally decided to sit down and do it. Welcome to Darkest Dungeon! Um, it's kind of an interesting game, it's a hard game. Uh, expect me to fail a lot. But this is going to be a series I'm going to be running um, kind of in parallel to what I normally put out for you guys as best I can. Uh, until I get tired of playing this for a while, or we succeed at uh, getting as far as we can. Currently the game is still in early access. This is one of the few early access games that you will catch me playing, because it is actually fairly put together already. Um, the game is not entirely complete, I believe. I don't think they have released um, the actual final dungeon, which is the darkest dungeon, yet. So, um, maybe by the time we get to where we would even be there, that'll be out, but I'm not too worried about that right now. We're going to get started on it anyway. I'm excited to play this, uh, and we'll see how it goes. Um, to start, before we get going, uh, the general gist of this story of this is that uh, we are a heir, we're an heir to uh, basically what was once a nice mansion, which is what we're seeing here. It's now trashed. Uh, because a relative that was running all of this place in the town that was with it uh, basically became power hungry, uh, found an evil Cthulhu-esque dimension, and um, basically caused the destruction of the family fortune and stuff. And so we've we're being brought in to try and save it essentially with help from uh, all kinds of interesting oddballs, <laughs> frankly. So. But let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and... I have played this a little bit. I went ahead and deleted my game because, frankly, I played it a long time ago. Um, and I've not played a ton of it, and I've not looked at a ton of things. I, I've intentionally kind of stayed away from it. I've been really excited to play the game. Um, but I've really held back on it because I wanted to do a series. I knew I wanted to do a series and uh, or stream it or something. And so I kind of just stayed away from it, even though I bought it. And, like, I've had it for since it came out, basically. <laughs> came out on Early Access, which was in February, I believe. But, uh... uh Aha! The YouTubes. <laughs> Apparently that resets it. I don't... Whatever. Let's just call it Darkest. That's fine. Alright, here we go. You will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling, serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. Leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient, pitted cobbles of the old road. And on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. Spooky. So steal yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. The old road will take you to hell, but in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. Dun dun dun! So there's all kinds of things that we'll uh, we'll get talking about here once we uh, kind of get to town, but this is the uh, the tutorial basically. Map navigation. Click on another. Yep, I already know that. Brigands have run up these lanes. Keep to the side path. The hamlet is just ahead. So we'll see if we can get through this. The first Dispatch time I this thug in brutal fashion, <laughs> that all may hear of your arrival. The first time I played this, I actually totally died. Um, had both of my guys killed on me. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. They have toned that down a little bit since then. Thank you. 
Leave nothing unchecked. There is much to be found in forgotten places. So here we go. An ambush. Send these vermin a message. The rightful owner has returned, and their kind is no longer welcome. We'll see if we can survive this or not. Well, we've got some... We actually got some pretty good... Uh, abilities on our Crusader, so that's kind of nice. We need to get rid of this dude in the back. So the guys in the back, I've learned with this game, generally are the worst and are the ones that you want to get rid of um, as quick as you can. Because they often do stuff like, um, if you notice, this guy actually uh, shoots everybody. So we'll try to stun this dude again. Uh, you resisted that time. I'm having really bad luck here. Against this dude. <sighs> Mortality clarified in a single strike. Death waits for the slightest lapse in concentration. <laughs> Well, we're going to lose our one highwayman, most likely. So death in this game isn't super straightforward. Um, you notice I have hit points here. It's You have a chance of dying, basically, once you get down to no hit points. Um, you're not guaranteed to die, but every time you're hit after you hit that point, uh, there's a chance your character will die. That hero will die. Oh, that's actually bad. So positioning and matters a lot. The true test. Hold fast or See, he's okay for the moment, but... Death's door. Here's an explanation. When a hero is reduced to zero hit points, they're at death's door. While in this state, they suffer stat penalties. Plus any further damage has a chance to kill them. Heal them to get them off of death's door. Another oh, they got him. Wasted. That's too bad. Suit of glory and gold. Treat is unavailable. Yeah. Thanks. Basically, uh, so I'm gonna lose these guys again. Uh, so this tutorial is actually kind of rough. If you noticed, I got really unlucky and missed a bunch on this guy, uh, which really sucks because that basically means I can't. The likelihood of me winning is extremely low. The bigger the beast. We the might pull this out now. Our crusader might actually uh, make it. We'll see. Confidence there. Surges we actually pulled it off. So. so we succeeded in the dungeon. Got some gear. And we got a chest, so we'll open the chest. And it was trapped. Dude is blighted now. <laughs> so that's a good example of how rough this game kind of is. So we got 5,000 gold for completing that and all this other stuff that we picked up. So We got some resolve experience. And we lost our other guy, so that kind of sucks, but oh well. Welcome home, such as it is. This squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands, they are yours now, and you are bound to them. Okay, so what we're looking at here is our activity log. We are technically the caretaker here. These are our ultimate goals. You can see they've got, we got a bunch. These are, we have to defeat a bunch of things. Your quest goals. And these are some extra ones that they've added since then. I've not... These weren't on here, part of this uh, when I last looked at this, so that's kind of cool. These are basically the different classes. 
each class, each um, character that we get has a resolve level, and that's what uh, this is. So, Prince level one just tells us what has happened this week. So we don't need to be in here right now. So welcome to kind of our home. Press and hold H to see contextual controls. I'm not too worried about that. So here's a. This is basically the hamlet, and as we go, things will open up within the town, and uh, we can upgrade things uh, using stuff that we pick up out of the dungeons and money and things like that. There we go. Been a while since I've. This is all new stuff, I'm pretty sure, since I was last last played. Um, prone to stealing items. Only prey. Oh, that's going to be a pain. Warrior of Light. That's an interesting one. So each of our guys has quirks. Um, some are good, some are bad. And some are like labeled as bad that are kind of eh. So like, uh, these red ones are generally bad. So God-fearing is considered bad because he can his stress can only be relieved through prayer. Um, and then Cuptomaniac means he'll steal, he steal stuff, and that can get us in trouble um, in town. And then he, one of the good things he has is that if the light is above 75, he does more damage, so that's kind of nice. And here's all of his abilities. Um, it shows us what what they do and all that fun stuff, and things he's got unlocked for camping. Each person is different. They'll all have, even if they're the same class, they will have different abilities, so that's kind of cool. Women so. and men, soldiers and outlaws, fools and corpses. All will find their way to us now that the road is clear. The stagecoach is your hero lifeblood. You'll need to recruit these two heroes to fill out a party, at least two heroes to fill out a party of four. We actually need three, so we'll have to get more. Uh, while you're here, spend some of your starting resources on upgrading the stagecoach network. This will increase the number of heroes available here in the future. So this is where we actually get our heroes. So fortunately, we do have three here. Um, and actually, these are not bad guys to pick up. So we got lucky there. Um, the roster, we're, I'm not going to worry about upgrading right now. We will upgrade Great the stagecoach network. heroes can be found even here, in the mud and rain. Um, I think we'll leave that there for now. Okay, we need to get... We have to get all of these guys what at the moment. better laboratory than the blood-soaked battlefield? So we'll check these guys out. Um, I can rename people too, so that's kind of cool. Um, unfortunately, there's not a Jester in here. Jesters are one of my favorite guys. Most will end up here, covered in the poisoned earth, awaiting merciful oblivion. So here's the graveyard. This is just a place where we can go and actually see who died <laughs> and to what and all that stuff. Um, we'll most likely be spending a lot of time here at some point. Um, and most of the rest of these we can't, uh, we don't have unlocked yet. Uh, we will be working on that and they will all have uses. But uh, for this episode, so this is going to be kind of a slow episode because we're going to be looking at, we're going to need to take a look at all of our guys. So we've looked at Reynold already. What did we get? So this guy basically doesn't like the dark person. Bevent, 10% damage. Oh, nice. Stress resistant. This is actually a pretty good Plague Doctor. Encourage experimental vapors. Preventative medicine. These guys are kind of status effects guys. I tend to the little bit I've played. I've actually I like these guys to some extent because they tend to put status effects on the opponents, um, which is very helpful. So. Ew! We can change colors now. That's awesome. I like his outfit already, so we'll leave him alone. That's cool. That's new. That wasn't part of <laughs> so many new things since I was here last. These guys are healers. Um, these gals, I should say. 
Another one that hates the dark, so we'll have to keep that in mind. Ugh, it's bad at ranged. 5% accuracy, that's not bad. What do we got? Judgment. Dazzling light. This isn't this is actually a pretty good cleric. Vestal. Seeker. <laughs> These will come in handy later. Pardon me. And then we have a leper. <laughs> Lepers are kind of weird. Um, there are weird characters. Obsessed with sainthood. Interesting. I don't know what that's going to mean. Hm. I do not know what that means for us. Uh, obsessed with sainthood. That's going to be weird, I guess. So hopefully you know what a leper actually is, and so I don't have to explain that to you, because I don't want to. So this episode's going to be a little long, because we're going to go ahead and do the try and do the first part of, uh, first quest here. A mecca of madness and morbidity. Your work begins. So as you can see, Reynold is kind of complaining. <laughs> um, sanity matters a lot in this, and you'll we'll, we'll get there. Stress and sanity is a huge part of this game for your characters, your heroes, adventurers, and holy abominations turning the light against itself. Meet them in battle and learn how they fight. Oh, skirmish. So we just have to complete room battles, so that shouldn't be too bad. Um, this is what we get if we complete this quest, so we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, hold on here. We want to put him... That should be correct. Uh, as you remember, if you look, when we looked at our status, guys, it actually tells you what positions your guy heroes prefer to be in. She actually prefers to be in the three spot. That's kind of odd. Um, where? Uh, if he can be in the four, we'll put him in the four then. Provisions. So now we need to buy some stuff to take with us. The preparedness, measured now in gold, later in blood. We're gonna go try and go kind of light on this one, so we can actually maybe make some money off of this. <laughs> So this is equipment that we want to, we're taking with us. Here we go. The fiends must be driven back. And what better place to begin than the seat of our noble line? Okay, so here's what we want to do. We want to explore and defeat all of the monsters that are in the this floor, basically. Um, this is our light. It will go down as we travel. And the further, the darker it is, the harder monsters get, and things just get bad. So that's why we have torches in our inventory. Okay, we got lucky there. So we'll find things laying around once in a while. Traps. That... Ouch. Ancient traps lie in wait. So as you can see. and thirsting for blood. His stress went up there because he took some damage. As you can see, that it's already going down. We're losing light fairly quickly. Pardon me. Ooh, we'll take that. Let's see, we want to switch to her, because these guys usually like the books. Oh, we got a scouting report. That was a good find. So you can switch between who who actually interacts with things. So here we got some enemies. We surprised them, so that's good. Judgment. We want to hit guys in the back generally if we can. Blinding gas, plague grenade, disorienting blast. That ain't gonna matter in this one. They're blighted, so blight is poison in this. Oh, come on, Reynold. 
as the fiend I'll just falls. Keep lighting those guys. And hope blossoms. See, that's blight's awesome. That's why I like to play doctors. And see, we have can have her heal. Healing is not. There's not. You don't heal a ton usually when you heal in this game, so you do have to pay attention. And that's kind of the way it's meant to be. I mean, this game is meant to be fairly, Press fairly rough. Advantage. Give them no quarter. <laughs> Our leper's accuracy is apparently really bad. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. So there we go. We took, survived. I'll activate another torch. And we'll keep on trucking. We actually, this is actually a fairly large dungeon for the first first one. I don't think the other one was this big. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. He's actually, uh... He's a kleptomaniac, so Even the cold stone this is why I brought the shovel. On preventing passage. Oh, it didn't use the shovel. I should have brought more torches. It's been a while since I played, so I didn't remember, couldn't remember how quickly the uh, that stuff falls, but it goes down fairly quick. You guys will go ahead and try and plague the guy in the back. Come on, Blight! There we go. Oh, he resisted. Bump in the night. A lot of these things have status effects on them. As you notice, like his stress is getting really high because he tried to open that one lock. She's got a self-healing ability, damage and healing ability. That's insane. <laughs> I've never encountered that before. Blight is awesome. Blight's awesome when it's on the enemy. It's terrible if you get hit with it. So far, so good, though. Ooh, we got Remind another shovel. yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Let us continue. We're gonna use another torch, I think. Ugh. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Ooh, ooh. Um, we could be in a lot of trouble here. These guys look pretty vicious. Own courier. Oh, I know what we're gonna do. Come on. Oh, that she didn't move the way I wanted her to there. Ouchies. Oh, that actually worked out perfectly. Thank you. Thanks, crazy lady. Let's focus him. It'll boost his accuracy. Maybe he can actually hit for us. Oh, that's not good. Fortunately, they're hitting guys that are... Hmm. 
Well, that's interesting. That boosts the torch. Flag up. Yes. Got blade on one of them. So as you can see, that's what's annoying about these guys in the back. They they can um, they tend to have abilities that juggle your guys around. That's why she's suggested for the third spot. That's a the nice boost to the lit. torch. That's the really path cool. Is clear. <laughs> we require only the strength to follow it. Oh man, they keep knocking him into. Terrible positions. Oh, it's getting to be annoying. I'm not able to do anything with him because they just keep knocking him around. I really need her to not have to be knocked around for once. Ugh. So this is why this game is rough. <laughs> Fortunately, he uh, killed himself. Victory. Perhaps the turning point. Come on, give me the heal. Let's go ahead and heal him. Now we're making progress. There, we made it, we did it. Whew, good, that was rough. As victories Ouch. Mount, so too will resistance. Got a lot of good stuff out of that, though. So you can use your food supplies to actually heal, heal your guys. Um, we don't have bandages or anything, so we can't uh, can't do anything about that. Let's see, we want to move him. There we go. So we'll just keep on trucking here. Oh lord, that's bad. We might have to just abandon the quest. We're close to being done with the quest, but we're close to losing. Uh... Claustrophobia. We're close to losing uh, losing our crusader here. Um... So the thing is, is it's like, do we want to keep going? Or do we quit? And that's kind of the whole shtick of this game. Um, I think in this case, since it's our first go round, I think we're going to go ahead and call it um, and take what we've got because we got a decent haul out of this. Um, just because I would rather not lose him at the moment because he's actually somewhat beefed up. So, and the only way you can flee is basically you have to just abandon the quest. Um, everybody gets stress increased because we didn't no complete the quest. Back, but not the end of things. And in truth, so we don't get the quest rewards because we didn't we didn't succeed at the quest. We got out, but we do get to keep any of the treasure that we got. So we got a bunch of heirlooms which we can use to upgrade stuff, and we got some treasure. And we actually walked away with more money than we spent going in, so that's good. Um, everybody has a chance to gain stuff, so they've all gained a skill. Scattering, old scrounger. That's not bad. That means that when we're in certain dungeons, he can actually have a better chance of scouting them. Prove balance. Nice. Nice. Actually, that's really nice. Believes is... <laughs> Wonderful! We might have to pay to get rid of that. That might be annoying. 
bulimic. That's gonna suck. Hatred of the unholy. So those abilities are kind of random. I see something long absent in the sunken faces of passersby. A glimmer of hope. So we've uh, we've got a couple new things open, but I think we'll save that for the next episode. So that'll do it for today, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed this series. We're got a long ways to go, and we're just starting. So uh, I'll catch you next time. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.